So walk with me through the book of Revelation. This is uh, part one, uh, chapter one, verses one through three. The book of Revelation is for uh, the, the end times. A lot of people understand that we are in the last days and that we are in the, and some of us even understand that we're in the final days. And one of the best ways that you can recognize the last days of this um, age, because there's another age coming, the, mill the millennial age is soon to come. The more you know, the more prepared you'll be for what is to come. Chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things that must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. John was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. And um, the Lord Jesus Christ and some of uh, his angels would come to, to John. And then John would, uh, in turn, write out uh, the reve revelation. John would receive visions and Jesus, Jesus would take him places. Angels would take him places, show him things. And John was very intuitive and he just asked a lot of questions. And he would get, and the Lord would give him most of the answers. We'll just put it that way. And he was the one of the last ones to die, because uh, all of the disciples died. Uh, they tried to kill John numerous times, boil him in oil. Um, I forget all the different uh, ways they tried to kill John, but they couldn't get rid of him. They couldn't kill him, so they put him on an island they called Patmos which was a, a prison island. And he, this is where he uh, wrote the book of Revelation. Number two says, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of the things that he saw. So John actually saw a whole lot of different things. The Lord showed him these things so he could write them down for us to be able to see today. Blessed is he that receiveth, excuse me, that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophet, prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. And on the, if you turn to the last page of Revelation, in the the last two pages, is it said, clearly states that, um, behold, I come quickly. So, uh, behold, I come quickly, behold, I come quickly. It says it three times on the last page of Revelation and, uh, and maybe even the page before. So, clearly we're, we're at the tail end, we're at the last days. Um, this is just part one. And I'm trying to keep these videos short because we have short attention spans. Now, if um, if you like this video, go ahead and you know hit the like button. It helps spread the um, around the world so people can can see it. And feel free to leave a comment also too. Even if it's negative, it doesn't even matter to me. I don't care. And if you like to give your dedicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and ha establish a personal relationship with him, there is a, a prayer down in the description area below that you can simply say. And this prayer, all you do is just say, Father, in Jesus' name, I believe that your son Jesus died on the cross for me to, to save me from my sins. I believe that... Um, um, he he uh, he was resurrected uh, for me. And Father, I repent. Please forgive me for everything that I've ever done wrong. I want to be your child. And I thank you for dying on the cross for me, Lord Jesus Christ. 
I want to give my life to you today, Lord Jesus. I thank you for covering me with your blood, and I thank you for everything that you do for me. Please, you don't have to say please, but you can just say, Lord, just lead me and guide me for the rest of my life. Amen. And now you're a born again Christian. Have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Check out the other parts of uh, Revelation. It's going to get more and more exciting.